So I've exposed this before, I've mentioned this game before, and the releasing this um, new character basically in uh, some time in October. Um, of course, it would be a witch, wouldn't it? Um, and everything I said over the years of the all-seeing eye, the solar eclipse, the wish of the eclipse and all that has always been associated with witchcraft and even behavior knows this. My argument is just proven and yet, like I've said many times, people, trolls and not want to deny it. Yeah they are associated with witchcraft. So this was a post that basically behavior made on Instagram. Don't have Instagram from us through leaks and that. And you see the all seeing eye of the Illuminati. Don't have a clue what any of this says. Really don't. I mean, that style of handwriting is hard to understand. We have the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati. You have the wish of the eclipse moon, which has always been associated with occultism. That's what it's always been associated with. Islam worshipper, basically it's known as the moon god. They, they call it, oh, Allah, it's not. It's the moon god. It's always been referred to as a paganism and occultism. It's what it's always been associated with. Then we have this. This is the deal, basically what they're releasing the, this character. And I've, I've talked about with this game many times, but I'm not really going to talk about it again because it's just pointless. This game has one of the most toxic communities on the face of the earth, and that's a fact. The, the amount of triads and the amount of teabaggers and people, attention seekers that I've come across in this game is unbelievable. I mean, people think that GTA 5 was bad with triads. This game's twice as worse. Basically, people quit a game when it doesn't go their way. And then when you do it, they don't like it. Like, I've had so many people message me saying, why are you face camping? Stop face camping. Yeah, people have done it to me. They face camp me. People have flashlights spam me. And that's why playing as the killer in this game this game is pure survivor based. If you play as the killer, you're gonna have a bad time, really bad time. The only people that say it isn't survivor based is these fanboys. Basically these dead by daylight fanboys. And of course, every post that they made was at 3 a.m which is known as the witch, you know, the devil's hour and all that. Doesn't really surprise me, I mean. And then you have this uh, bell. From a distance, it kind of looked at a non-symbol, Freemasonry. Kind of looks like the square and comp compass, if you're short and short and that, it looks like the Freemason square and compass, Freemasonry. Uh, you have this, we all know what's on the front. The, these are symbols of witchcraft again. You have this tattoo here. Looks like a snake. A serpent is wish of the devil. You have this, the solar eclipse. 
again, which is occultism. Now you have right there the all seeing eye of the Illuminati. They call it the eye of they call the eye of providence and all that. And even in magic, they believe it's all protection against evil. How can, how can it be protection against evil when it is evil itself? And they're introducing these things called boon totems, which again is another way to basically screw the killer over once again. This is there's people already complaining that it's overpowered and it's it's way overpowered. Which isn't surprising with behavior because, again, the game is just so unbalanced. And I can say this because I played a lot of hours of this game. So I know exactly both sides play both sides. And both are toxic. And that's why most killers face camp because um, survivors are toxic. Flashlight spamming, teabagging, talking crap. That's why killers face cam. That's why face camp in most matches. And then you have people crying about it. We have no choice. Game ain't balanced. But you have the school, which is always, it's always referred to as witchcraft. And it simulates death. It just proves my argument. I mean, we already know this anyway, that the school was associated with witchcraft. So basically, you can have the ability to bless these tomes, which really is pointless because, again, it's, as I said, it's just another way to mess over the killer. I you see a closer... View right there, clearly the all-seeing guy of the Illuminati. There's no denying it. And these are symbols of witchcraft. You see. The solar eclipse. You see here, so the upside, that's usually, that'll probably be referred to as Earth. I mean, and this, uh, this is the square and compass that it was talking about. If you look at the symbol here, well, not this one. Go back. Kind of does look like it if you look at it properly. As you see, she's reading a book of witchcraft. Of course, they would be promoting witchcraft, wouldn't they? I mean, the whole game, what basically you're putting hexes on people, which is witchcraft. You see? Square and compass kind of does a lot like it. Doesn't really surprise me. As you see, there's a square and compass right there. And you see, this is, is the gameplay. You see the snake, the serpent again. Now, I can guarantee you, when this character actually releases, that it's going to be hell for killers. It's going to be pure hell. What you're going to have in this game is everyone's going to be using this character. Literally, you're going to have survival with friends. You all using this character. And it will be so overpowered. But again, behavior don't care, do they? Just like Rockstar, they don't care as long as they're getting money. They don't care. Because you can literally heal yourself within a few seconds. 
it's even faster than healing yourself normally. I run self-care and botan- botany knowledge, whatever it's called. You run those two perks together, you can heal fast. Now, this is supposed to be 10 times faster than that. Basically, the botany, I think, is like 33, 33%. So, this is like 100%. So, imagine that you're going to be healed in a matter of seconds. This is going to be so overpowered. You're going to have no one playing as a killer ever again. And then people are going to go, well, why, why can't we find any matches anymore? Be their own fault. The people that work at behavior clearly don't know what balance does. But you will have people abusing this. You'll have a whole entire team of survivors using this one character. And then they'll be able to spam the instant heal over and over and over again. And the killer won't be able to hook any of them or even get a down. It's what you're looking at. I mean, they want to nerf nerf the killers. Never nerf the survivors, do they? Wonder why that is. You should wake up and realize this ki- this game is survivor based. Because hardly anyone buys the the killer cosmetics. Mainly, there's no point. Well, I don't even see the point anyway of buying the killer cosmetics. You can't see them. The only people that can see them is the survivors. So in reality, you're just wasting money. You can't see the cosmetics except for in the main menu or the lobby menu. That's about it. So in reality, you're wasting money. As you can see, the snake, serpent. Now again, this is my screenshot. This was a charm that somebody was running. This is kind of the build that I used to run. self heal, Sprint Burst. I am well, calm spirit. But again, people say to run this this perk against the doctor. It's useless. It's absolutely useless. This perk is absolutely useless. It doesn't stop. As you can see, it literally didn't do anything for me. I still have the mental thing there. There's no count against the doctor. But this is kind of the build that I run on most characters. And this is the build that you should run on every single character. Self-care, instant heal, because most of the time people can't be bothered healing you. Uh, borrow time is a good perk. I am well. Now you have this. This is a other build that I did on another character. Basically, they don't run it anymore. This is pointless. Most of the time, it doesn't work. And what is this? I've been seeing this non-stop. What is this? It, it, it's only started recently appearing since the added pinhead. But you look at this um, skin for the trapper. People would say, basically in the description, it says it's a Krampus. Basically, it's supposed to be a reindeer. But it isn't a reindeer, it's a goat. You look at the ears of this, and you look at the horns of this, it's clearly a goat. So since when is um, a Krampus reindeer a goat? So it's a, gay, a goat. You play as a Baphomet. Now here's another character one of the most annoying characters in the game. Basically, can just cloak at any damn time. Basically, the Wraith. This outfit kind of looks like a go-ahead. And then you have the Huntress. As you can see, I've been playing this for a long damn time. A long time. Goat head. Now, this mask people will remember from WWE used to be a group that wore a goat head mask. 
refers to the Baphomet. This character is so annoying. There's basically tips for this character. If you want to avoid her, basically a hatchet when she's thrown at, duck down at the last minute. Basically a hatchet. The only way you can avoid it, basically as soon as it's coming down, it's going to follow you. So duck down right before then, and it won't get you. That's the only way you can counter the same with um, Trickster. The only way to avoid his blades is continuously duck down and make sure you're in a corner where you can continuously loop. Otherwise, you ain't going to survive. Again, this character is one of the most annoying characters ever to be created. Once you get somebody that knows what they are doing with this character, it's over. You ain't going to win. The spirit basically looks like devil horns and basically that's what it looks like. Now, you are this. I've seen this a lot in this map. I really hate this map so much. I really do. I hate this map so much because it's known for looping. Basically, you'll be looped over and over again. You have the same satanic star, which is a star of witchcraft. As we see right here. Why, why would this be in the game? Because again, witchcraft. I mean, you're sacrificing people to an entity. Nobody has ever seen the entity, but again, it's obviously what it refers to. You sacrifice people to the entity. So you see the star of witchcraft. It's the star of witchcraft. Now again, it's a, a more clear view. Looks like devil horns. Again, it is another area. This is kind of a perk that I run on mag. So this is the only decent thing you can run on mag. self care it's won me a lot of matches. self care Sprint Burst, Iron Will, Borrowed Time. Right there. And another one right there. Right there. I mean, you got got to laugh at that name. And then you had this. As I said, I play as both sides. It's always good to run Lightborn on every single killer because, as I said, this is what you have to deal with. It's Toxic Survivor's Flashlight, and you're continuously over and over again. And Lightborn's the only way to counter it. Lethal Pursuer is a good perk as well. Gives you advantage at the start of the match. We have the skull here, which represents death. That this is probably the only person that I saw with this. Never really seen this cosmetic on anyone run it. Here's the Wraith again. There's the there it is the more clear view of it is the goat head the Baphomet. that's what exactly what it is right there that's what it refers to the goat head you can see the ears are the same this is not a reindeer it's a goat. You can tell by the feet as well that it's a goal. It's a buff up to you basically playing as the buff amount. So 
it's all you. Bunch of symbolism. Proving my argument again. Of it, I showed the... the uh, basically, this is two videos that I've made now about this. Because, again, symbolism pr proves it. As like I said, you can have fanboys defending us, like always. As they always do. But anyway, just wanted to do this quick video. And get it out of the way. Because this is supposed to be releasing in some time in October. So I thought just get the video out of the way. So... I'll see you in the next video and thank you for all the support and the views. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.